I'm a huge fan of Bob's and playing his music is one of the all-time treats. Uh, I remember my dad gave me uh, for a Christmas present, 1977, he gave me the uh, Buddy Rich Plays and Plays and Plays record, and there was a Bob Mincer chart on there called Tales of Rota Rat, and from that day, I became a huge fan, so it's really great to be, I've been associated with the band for so many years, and, and to be here tonight. We did a lot of different things together in, in the city. There was a band called Cosmology with John Durth, he's a trumpet player, a really good trumpet player. He had a band, like a sort of a, you know, fusion, whatever, hippie fusion band. But I think Mincer was playing. Uh, he was playing tenor in that band. Uh, we played together with Idris Mohammed. Idris Mohammed had a band, and that was this is way before he did any. Uh, Bob was doing any big band stuff at all. Smooth and really prolific and really, uh, um, really versatile, and just a heavy bopper, you know, heavy, heavy, heavy bop thing. And he 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 taught me some stuff. He taught me, you know, he he was he suggested some things some things to me about my playing said, yeah, yeah, you got, you, got, you got nice sound, you got nice time, and try some of these chromatic things here, and then he laid some stuff on me. There's a lot of similarities, actually. I mean, sometimes the music he writes for the Yellow Jackets, um, it reminds me kind of some big band writing because the piano parts uh, have the, a lot of the same kind of unusual, intricate rhythmic figures. Like, you could easily translate the piano part from a Yellow Jacket song and orchestrate it for a big band. It would work really well. Bob is writing better than ever. And I've always loved his writing because his writing comes from the heart, it reaches the heart, but it never loses the hipness or sophistication that, that allows you to revisit it over and over again. I play in the, the, the former Thad Jones Mel Lewis Orchestra, the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra now. And we still have Bob's music in, 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 in that band. And that's, so I get to play those, you know, over and over more than I do with his band even, you know, especially with him out in LA. Some of the Thad Jones stuff where I said, man, I, I, I've caught myself saying, that sounds like Bob Mincer. And well, and of course it's the opposite way around. <laughs> Uh, I find this batch that we're playing tonight very challenging, yeah, and we're hoping for the best, but uh, the rehearsal went good and uh, they're very meaty. Uh, one of the challenges with something like this is the fact that we saw it for the first time yesterday and we rehearsed for the first time yesterday. Rehearsed a little bit today and then we're going to hit here in about half an hour. So, um, yeah, I do find it challenging, but uh, it, there's also something about having a player and a writer of Bob's caliber in front of you that inspires you and you kind of feel like, you know, let's let's rise up to the challenge uh, and 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 play this music like it should be played for him and for and for us as an ensemble. You know, everyone's doing an incredible job. Uh, the cool thing about doing it in only two days, though, is that uh, it's the big game. Everyone's really focused, and so far nobody's dropping any of the balls. So. The harmony is, is is very detailed. The the rhythms are very detailed, and it has to be. You have to be very accurate. You have to be a good reader. Some of these charts are are probably the most challenging of, of all the music I've, I've played at Bob. They're rhythmically uh, quite demanding. It takes a lot of concentration to, to get it. The, the music is really potent. Well, Bob has said this, and I think it's true. He writes for the musicians that are in the band, so I think he's thinking of the guys in his big band when he comes up with these parts, what would fit, fit their style and strengths, and when he writes for the Yellow Jackets, he's doing that as well. So Brazilian music has its own swing. Now Alex Acuna uh, offered a very lovely definition uh, of Brazilian music. Uh, he described it as I mean, where, where, whereas most music is like a ball rolling down a plank or an incline, Brazilian music is like an egg rolling. I think he's been studying that music and trying to incorporate more of the authentic rhythms, although I don't think he claims to be an expert, and it's, it's kind of a hybrid, and I think he's okay with that. Rhythmically, they're very challenging. And I was ta again, I was talking to some of the other guys in the band, and I asked them how this compares with previous, the level of difficulty of previous recordings, and they said, this is a hard one. I think rhythmically particularly, but 
Also, there's these really fast passages. He's a very warm guy. He's very um, he's very relaxed about his approach to to, to music and, and dealing with people. And for a saxophone player, he's pretty cool. He's pretty, he's from one of the least neurotic saxophone players I know. He's inspirational to me because he's uh, because of his work ethic, because he's so prolific, because he has such a broad base. He can write. He can uh, he can conduct. He can play. He can he can improvise. Um, and uh, he's, he's a consummate musician. He, he's an inspirational guy. I really respect the way he runs his big band and there's never anything that has to be done in a heavy-handed fashion at all. But he always gets what he wants. He's, he's not afraid to just say, whoa, whoa, stop. How can we, and in a very positive way, you know, you saw at the rehearsal today how he was dealing with Peter Erskine, you know, a, a, a contemporary of his, a great, just so much respect between the two of them, and you'd say that that's normal and that's to be expected. But it's it's it, it does take a, a special person to really uh, not hurt people's feelings and create something that they didn't mean to when they're looking for something that that player is already trying to give, but it's not quite right. So yeah, that, that's a it's a unique thing in a good band leader, and Bob certainly is that.